Hi guys, my name is Suhani Gandhi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, then please press the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can stay updated with my latest videos. I'm also very active on Instagram, so do follow me on suhani.gandhi. Today I'm going to talk about some of the things that I wish I could tell myself when I was growing up, so when I was 13. Um, the teenage years are some of the most difficult and challenging times for anyone really. You're going through so much mentally, physically, emotionally and, and you're at a very impressionable age. Um, there are certain things that I feel like if I knew at that age it would have helped me a lot. Um, obviously I can't tell my younger self this anymore but um, I can share them with you and it might help you instead. So here they are. Number one, it's okay not to fit in. When I was around 12 and 13, I was bullied in school. I went to a school that wasn't ethnically diverse at all. I was one of the few Asian people in the whole school. Um, I remember for two years, um, my life was sort of hell. I would not want to go to school. I was not happy at all because I was being bullied. You know, people would call me packy. Um, no one would want to sit next to me in lessons. Lunch times were difficult because I'd sort of be on the periphery, hoping no one would notice me and pick on me. Um, I remember this one time um, we were sitting in an art class and there was a game that was being played that would you rather marry this person or this person? And um, my name came up and the the boy said I would not marry Suhani even if she was the last person on this planet and you know all these little things they add up and they really take a hit on your self-esteem especially at that young age when all you want is like you want friends and you want to fit in and you want to just have a good time at school so I went through that and I tried to deal with it as constructively as possible but um it, it does take a hit on you and what I would tell myself now is that it's okay if these people don't like you. Um, there will come a time where you will completely open up to a new world, you, have, you will be surrounded by people who adore you, you will find your tribe and um, it, it's just a matter of time. So don't, don't let this, these two years pull you down as a person, you should still love yourself and, and um, celebrate yourself and not feel that there's anything wrong with you. Um, if these people don't want to be friends with you, that's fine. Do something else, go to the library or spend time alone, write. Number two, I would tell myself all those dreams that you're dreaming right now are going to come true one day. So keep dreaming. Um, it's quite funny to look back and think that all of those times I was daydreaming and I was fantasizing, um, most of them actually came true and my life gradually transformed into what I wanted it to be. So imagination is such a powerful tool. I know at that age, it just feels like you're making things up, but really you're not. You're sort of pulling towards you everything you want to create. And suddenly those are the paths that open up in front of you. So I would tell myself, keep believing in your dreams, keep imagining, daydreaming. And um, not only at that age, I would say whatever, however old you are, um, believe in your dreams believe in visualizations and imaginations and creations and all of that because it does come true number three i would tell myself to push myself out of the comfort zone so at that age i was very shy and very introverted i wasn't able to answer questions in class even though i knew the answers i just wouldn't raise my hand um and i would tell myself now to take baby steps to build that confidence. Confidence is just like a muscle. You build it over time. It doesn't come overnight. So I could have um, taken tangible steps to do that. For example, I could have um, made a goal to raise my hand in class maybe once a day and then increased it to two, two or three times. And over time that confidence would build, but um, I was sort of shy and I was shrinking and it's important to know that by being shy you're not really serving anyone you're sort of keeping your talents to yourself and it's important to bring it out to the world to express who you are so take baby steps increase your confidence um i remember i was so shy that even answering the register so saying yes to the register would make my heart beat really fast uh, little did i know at that age that 
later on I would be giving TV interviews and radio interviews and a large part of my career and my job would involve me communicating and connecting to people. Number four, truly cherish the time with your loved ones. I remember at that age I was almost wishing away the time I had. Um, it was just going to school and coming back and there was just too much time and I thought what's going on like I want I want to do something more um, but looking back that's truly the time that you have with your loved ones and it's untainted with any pressure or expectations or exams it's just there to have fun and to enjoy life and to do little things and that's the purpose of that time it doesn't need to translate into anything larger um, and it's truly the time where you can spend quality time with your family because obviously as you grow older you have the pressure of exams and um, career and then it just gets really really busy. Looking back I had so much quality time with my grandmother and she's not around anymore and I'm so glad I got to spend that time with her but of course you don't realize the importance of it in that moment so I would tell myself truly cherish those moments that you have they're going to mean a lot to you when you're older. Number five, don't be afraid to show who you really are. So at that age, I almost had a dual identity and two different lives that I was living. There was one side of me who went to school, um, was very British, fitted in with that culture. And there was another side which was very Indian and I spoke Gujarati at home and I had a different community of people, would, fel would um, celebrate lots of festivals and I would learn classical Indian dance and there was a whole other world. I was very afraid to express this cultural side. Um, so if someone had asked me what I did over the weekend and if I'd gone to do some yoga with my family or performed uh, Indian classical dance somewhere, I wouldn't bring it up. I would be too afraid to show who I really am. Um, and I think that's quite sad because you were so individual and you had so much to offer to the world, but you kept it very hidden. And um, even if people weren't so accepting of different cultures you could have at least expressed it and shown and been confident that hi uh, I'm Suhani and I am different I'm not like you um, I'm not better or worse than you I just have a different life and this is, these are some of the things that I do outside of school um, so yeah just being confident enough to express that cultural side of myself these are the top five things that I would tell my 13 year old self. Comment down below what you would like to tell your younger self. And of course, like this video, subscribe, and I will be back with more videos.